Hey up everybody, just a quick workshop tip here, it's not really a how to video but it's just the way I join brass to aluminium using my Lumiwell kit. I mainly use it for joining aluminium to aluminium, it uses a fusion technique for doing that uh, without going into any great technicalities but for brass, bronze and copper it uses like a hard brazing technique so I mainly use it on aluminium to aluminium and I'll show you a couple of projects that I've used it on in past just to show you the results but today I'm going to join brass to aluminium it does take a bit of practice though to, to you know to to get the technique correct and cleanliness like everything in brazing soldering or welding is important uh, so I'll just uh, show you what I've done a couple of projects then we'll get over to workbench and I'll explain it so here's one example where I've braced two pieces of aluminium together you can see it does a nice neat joint once you get the technique right and the, the actual joint is stronger than the aluminium apparently I'm over on my loco now, my steam loco and this saddle that the, chip, that the uh, smoke box sits on I made that all up from aluminium and uh, I, well, I brazed or welded all these ribs into this saddle using that loomy weld and here's my battery loco this is all made of aluminium the cab uh, I don't know if you can see it in there it's a bit dark but I, I loomy welded all this aluminium together to make the cab up. Get your loomy weld rod which melts at 380 degrees centigrade. Aluminium melts at 600 degrees or just above approximately maybe 650. Brass melts at approximately 900 so that's not a problem. Uh, copper is a thousand plus degrees centigrade and bronze is about 900 degrees so when you're doing aluminium to aluminium because you've got 380 degrees for your rod and 600 degrees for your parent metal it's important that you, do, you make sure because aluminium doesn't give, give you any warning when it's going to just drop away and melt it's important that you heat it up and while you're heating it up keep checking the the parent metal you don't want to be melting the rod on the flame you want to be melting the rod on the workpiece and once that workpiece gets up to 380 degrees this will melt and then you've just got to maintain that heat without going too much that's why the technique takes a bit of practice uh, because if you start heating that aluminium up too much it'll just drop away and melt and you'll have nothing left Right, so let's get this heated up and put a bit of loomy weld on this uh, brass and aluminium.
the other point I probably didn't missed earlier on is you've got to make sure that whatever you're putting together is firmly secured either with a clamp or with ties or whatever because if it's loosely placed on and you get your scratcher obviously you're gonna you've got to put a little bit of pressure on it so it's gonna move so you don't want that right so it's a little bit more difficult to do a circular run than a straight run um, but it's like anything isn't it, it takes a bit of practice to do this it's like if, if, you're, if you're a hobbyist and you do welding or even if you do plastering you know you'll find that it takes a little bit of time to get back into the swing on it when you're only doing it occasionally and it's same with this that's brass welded to aluminium I'm deforming that brass ring rather than it snapping off. Right, so I've just give that 20 minutes or half an hour to cool down. It's still a little bit warm. Um, but you can see the result you get. It's quite a nice, neat, neat job. You can machine it, file it, whatever you want to tidy it up. And it's it's fixed, it's solid. I mean don't get me wrong, It's. Uh, I don't know how strong it is because I've never tested it but you've just seen me hammering that piece so it, so it is quite strong I'm not testing it to the point of destruction because I want to use it for something. Well that's my little workshop tip for today then, uh, my loomy weld uh, joining brass to aluminium. So uh, I'll sign off for now then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.